Yeah, thanks for having us. And this is our product. We call it Guardhead. Uh, it's a smart hardhead. And before I get started, let me ask you a question. Like, how, who, may, uh, who of you has already worked in the past in an environment where you need a hardhead? Okay, so pretty, pretty good amount. So uh, basically what, what you know then is that your company probably told you safety is our number one priority. Any, any CEO will say that right away. So if you look at what kind of equipment you got in order to protect yourself, you will probably see, okay, I got a, probably a hard hat. Yeah, I got some vest, I got some gloves, some steel toe boots. That's pretty much it. Then you got probably a manual, safety manual with 700 pages yeah, where your safety procedures are written down. And then maybe you got a day or so of training. And next thing you know, you saw yourself next to a 200 ton ladle with molten iron and you needed to handle that. This is literally how safety is being handled right now. At the same time, we see a lot of developments on the IoT-based variable side, yeah? and industrial safety is still being handled how it was handled like 60 or 50 years ago, where you get literally a piece of plastic on your head to protect yourself. So we thought when we founded Garter, we thought, okay, there's some, some need in the market to bridge those two, bring IoT-based variable technologies into the industrial work site. And let me flip through a few pages here and to show you a little more exactly what, what we mean by this. Uh, sorry if I jump across here. So, oops, can we go back? Oh, yeah, yeah. So here you see just an overview, just only helmets or head protection. You see the first row, you see motorcycle helmets. Uh, you see in the, in the 1960s, it looked a little like old fashioned. Today, there's a product on the market, almost on the market called Scully. Uh, I don't know if, if any one of you is a motorcycle fan and if you heard of Scully. Scully is a helmet that has an augmented reality built into it. It has a rear view camera has biometrics, has communication. So when you ride your motorcycle, you have a heads-up display in your helmet that shows you if somebody's coming from behind and it basically improves your safety. So a completely IoT-based variable high-tech product for the motorcycle industry. Next line, you see a football helmet. Now, even today's football helmet, you have sensors built in that measure the, the strength of the concussion that people get. You have audio communication where a quarterback can talk to the coach. And then you see the, the last row here where we show the, the, the in development or evolution of the industrial hardhead. It pretty much is exactly the same piece of plastic that you used in the 1960s. So we said, okay, there's some potential to, to change that and to, at the end of the day, improve worker safety. Because everybody at the end of the day should be sent home the same shape or even better when how they came to work in the morning. So let me tell you a little bit how guardhead works. Because guardhead at the end of the day is obviously a head yeah, but it's actually not only a head, there's much more behind it. So here you see the, the overall concept how Guardhead works. On the left hand side you see the devices. Those are all IoT based, connected, wirelessly connected, uh, high tech devices and everybody in a plant wears the head itself. So they communicate with each other, they have uh, wireless communication, they have Wi-Fi in it, they have uh, Bluetooth in it, uh, we have RFID. We are connected through a positioning system with an ultra-wideband positioning system. You see a few of the beacons. If you go to our stand after the presentation, we can show you how the positioning of the workers looks like on the plant. And uh, this is pretty much on, on the device side. Then you see in the middle what we call our platform. This is really the core of the overall system. All the data that is being generated by the heads. You have biometric sensors, contextual sensors, environmental sensors. We have, we have audio-video communication there. All gets transmitted wirelessly to our what we call back-end platform, gets analyzed, and every time you see a deviation from a certain threshold, a warning signal is being sent back to the worker. So for example, uh, one of the problems, and by the way, all, all of the foundings, we were all working in the industrial world before, so we came from the steel industry, and there's like, I can give you one example of a, of a near fatality that we had in our steel industry, it was a worker after the, the evening shift wanted to go home, uh, he took a shortcut, and in, this, in a steel plant, you have a, like big called slab carriers. Those are gigantic trucks that have four meter tall wheels. They carry steel slabs that weigh almost 10 of them, 200 tons. So it's a gigantic vehicle. The worker wanted to take a shortcut. It was late at night, yeah, and he walked right behind one of those vehicles. The vehicle was backing up and was, was running over him. The worker lost two legs. It was a near fatality. It was a, it was a, it was a huge incident. Um, luckily, he survived, but of course, it was, it was, a, it was a tragic event. So what Garthead could have done in that situation is Garthead has a, a, a beacon on, in the head, the driver or the vehicle could have one, and the moment you detect a proximity that you get within a certain range of dangerous equipment, both people get warning. The worker gets a warning on his head that says, 
be careful, um, moving equipment. The driver gets a warning signal, and you can even go further. You can then connect the engine of the vehicle automatically to the software. And if a worker comes too close, the engine automatically shuts off. So at the end of the day, it really tries to help worker safety and improve worker safety. So now that we know that the platform is kind of the core, then we have, of course, all the applications that can run on the platform. We started with safety, yeah? but at the end of the day, you can pretty much run anything. I'm looking at our folks here from Milwaukee Tool. You can even connect tools. Uh, we have one, uh, I'm very sorry, we have a DeWalt battery with us, the BLE. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe we can talk afterwards. But, uh, <laughs> so uh, so we, we, have, we can show you over there as well. So um, I don't know, D, you know DeWalt, Black, Stanley Black and Day. I don't want to like, give any complications with Milwaukee. But so they are BLE based, as you know from Milwaukee, BLE based equipment. We, we can connect directly. We can even have uh, use the hard hats as sniffers on a construction site. Yeah, if somebody wants to know where is my, my tool set, every worker has a hat, and this is kind of a sniffer technology to, to locate and detect equipment. So at the end of the day, point being here. Safety is only one application. At the end of the day, you can run any application that you want on the system. Time and motion studies, training, and so on and so forth to improve worker productivity. This is now the first time, literally, that we try to improve the connectivity to the frontline workforce. Nobody has ever really connected workers on a shop floor. You're not even allowed to take your cell phone in a lot of, in a lot of plans. And this will be the first time that we will be connected. So, um, I think we have a few more slides I just skip over because I wanted to show you uh, one video of how Guardhead will work and then afterwards we'll be happy to show you a little more on our stand over there how it works so that you can look and feel and, and, and see the technology. Okay, so enjoy the video. No excuses. Know what that means? Wake up at the crack of dawn, ignore your aching muscles, and drown out the voices inside your head yelling at you to hit the snooze button because it's too cold, it's too dark, it's Sunday, or your son's birthday. It doesn't matter. There's work to be done. Steel to be made, coal to be mined, lumber to be shipped. We keep the world moving, come what may. I mean that. Nothing gets in our way. 3,700 degree furnaces, 50 below and gusty. Heck, 60 ton machines that can chew us up and tunnels so dark you can't see your hand in front of your face. But we're taken care of. Right, boss? So how come our safety equipment hasn't changed in 60 years? Comforting to know when we're up alone on a 300 foot tower battling gale force winds or facing a blast furnace so hot, it melts steel. I know what you're thinking. If there's better safety gear out there, you wouldn't hesitate one second. Turns out, there is. It's called guard hat, and it's much more than a hard hat. I get hurt, it tells you why and where to find me. I get too close to a lockout area, it warns me. It keeps me informed, keeps you informed, so you can make things even safer. That's right, even safer. Truth is, the perils of our workplace are like battle-ready warriors, always searching for that one small chink in our armor, one mistake, and game over. So it's up to you to make sure you arm us with the best out there. Not that there was ever any excuse not to. It's just that there are zero excuses now. One last thing, we, we are based out of Detroit and we are hiring. If you are interested, <laughs> come and talk to us or go to our website. <laughs>